Hey fam, welcome back to Learning Unlocked. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and of course, share the channel and the video with all your mommy, daddy, and educator friends. Today, we'll be making a fun little activity I like to call the Cupcake Factory, and it's basically a matching activity for your little ones. All you will need for this activity is some um, assorted sheets of Bristol board, a pencil, a scissor, some craft sticks or used lolly sticks, um, a bottle of glue and some color pencils, crayons, anything like that. So let's get into the activity. I hope you've gathered all your materials. The first thing that we're going to do as usual is we're going to draw our stencil. So I'm going to start by just drawing a cupcake. I'm using my craft stick to measure just to ensure that when I do insert the craft stick into the cupcake that it doesn't show on top or below. This is a perfect fit. This activity can be used for capital and common letters, one-to-one -one correspondence, amongst a plethora of other things. You can use it for colors, shapes, anything you want to use it for that's what i love about these resources that i share with you is that it's easily adaptable to the child's level regardless of where they're at so we're just gonna cut out this stencil so we can you know use it to draw on the other paper so everything kind of is the same size <laughs> So you do the drill, we're just gonna go in and make sure that we, you know, fit as many as we could on that page. We I cannot stress enough that this is one of the first math skills that your child should learn. Uh, matching teaches them problem solving skills and allows them to think critically where they otherwise may not get the opportunity to this kind of sets the foundation as they move on through life and through school for algebra and all these other math concepts um so guys don't focus on road counting too much make sure you get some matching skills in early 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 as early as possible so i'm just repeating um, the stencil on another sheet and um, you can see on the orange sheet that I kind of more or less decorated those cupcakes already but I wanted to ensure that you guys get why this concept is really important so I did that off camera while I spoke to you guys and now I'm just gonna do one well this sheet so you guys can kind of see how I achieved what I achieved on the other sheet so I'm just gonna be doing a mixture of letter numbers one-to-one -one correspondence just a little of everything so you guys see how the activity can be used <laughs> i don't realize how terribly placed my my materials are until i'm doing the voiceover i apologize and i will do better from the next video <laughs> I think I said that the last time, but I really am sorry and I really would try to do a little better. So you know the drill, let's cut this out as fast as possible and it would not be a learning and long video if I did not see. It, did, it does not have to be perfect to be effective, okay? There's perfection and imperfection. The kids won't mind, trust me. Of course, my child is a girl, so I use kind of girly bright colors but if it's a boy and you know you're sensitive about using pink you can always use blue a light blue yellow green anything that you would deem a little bit more masculine but i honestly don't think kids really care about the colors too much use your child's favorite color
Okay, now that we're done cutting all our cupcakes out, we're gonna just set these aside and we're gonna focus on the toppings a little bit because we need to give them time to dry. So I'm just gonna go on and just draw fun little toppings that you may or may not see on a cupcake. So I'm just gonna do like some strawberries, maybe a chocolate drop, a butterfly, hearts, just things that you could just be like this is a butterfly this is a heart you can up to use shapes so you could do a square a circle a star a heart stuff like that maybe a trapezoid stuff like that or you could just do abstract things like i am doing So what you want to do is, um, say for instance, if you're doing a capital and a common letter, so you're going to do like the capital letter on the cupcake and then you're going to make sure and you're going to put the common letter on the topper. That is what is going to be on your popsicle stick, right? The same goes for uh, if you're doing one-to-one -one correspondence. So you put the numeral on the topper and then you put the amount of objects so for instance if you're doing three you would put three stars or three circles on your cupcake and then you put the number three on the topper Alright buddies, we're almost finished, hang in there, we only have two more steps after this. We would just need to add some color and I'll show you how to make the topper and how, to, how we assemble it basically. Okay, Daniel was clearly moving the stuff all over, so bear with me. She just loves to be involved which I am grateful for. Okay, let's add some color. So I'm just here adding a bright blue to my pink cupcake. <laughs> Truthfully guys, I think I enjoy this more than the kids. <laughs> I am so in my element when I'm doing these things. You have no clue. I needed to sharpen my pencil, but we're here, so let's just let's just get it done. Adding a, just a little extra pizzazz, you know? Alright, so this is the important part. You're just adding just a touch of glue. And you're going to apply a lot of pressure to stick that to your popsicle stick. So once we've done that and we've added color and or top us to a popsicle stick we're gonna fold at the top leaving about an inch or so at the top and we're gonna make just a little snip big enough for our scissor to fit in and we're just gonna cut just a little bit just enough so all lolly stick fits in because you don't want the stick just falling out easily this will be great for their motor skills as well and this is how it would look once assembled 
But of course, you know, as usual, Dania could not wait to get in there. So here she is giving you guys a quick demonstration of how to use these. Okay, take number three and put it in. Gonna do it again? Yeah. <laughs> okay, buddy. First, I have to stick it up. Alright, be sure to check out the printable version of this activity available on my website. I will give you the done version and the blank version that you can fill in your own stuff. And hey, if you got this far, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Give me some feedback. Let me know your goals. And I'll see you guys in the next video.